So today we've got a customer with a 2021 Nissan Navara and he's got a King's light bar to be installed with a universal wiring harness. So I just want to show you the quickest, easiest way um, to wire it up, including the higher beam, because on these ones it's a negative trigger, which just confuses things, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. So I already mounted the light bar, that's all done. And for the negative trigger, this main plug that goes into the back of the headlight on the passenger side, it is the red, which is your high beam, right next to that blue. So don't get confused because there's another red there, but it's that red right here next to that blue. Now, a lot of vehicles are positive trigger, so that means when you turn the high beam on, it sends power down, but on this one, it's a negative trigger. So when you turn the high beam on, it sends a negative, which just makes it a pain in the ass when you've got a Universal Kings light bar wiring harness that only works on positive. So what you need to do is on the wiring harness, originally, that's our earth that was connected to the battery earth and your light bar earth. So what you want to do is cut them two off and put them on a separate earth point on the chassis or battery if it reaches. Then this is now your negative trigger via your switch from the higher beam. So in theory, the higher beam negative is now clicking in your relay on pin 85. And then on pin 86, which was the original high beam trigger for your positive side, you just bridge that to pin 30, which is your battery. So you're just linking them two, cut off your high beam, uh, your light bar earths and battery earth, and wire them directly to an earth point on their own. And then you're just using a small cable, which goes from your switch to your high beam, and that will click the relay in to send power down to your light bar. That's the easiest way of doing it. And the reason you disconnect your light bar earth is because there's too much load. So this just goes to its own earth. And that is the way to do it. So you just pick up your high beam trigger there. And then once you've mounted the relay and connected up there, the battery terminals, there's a grommet just down there. Get a little stony blade, do not use a drill. Just cut a little slit in it, feed your cables through, and then you can mount whatever switch you're using wherever on the dash. And, uh, and that's it, you're done, easy. Cheers.